Hey class, so now I'm back in from the activity I was showing you earlier. So now let me show you on Google Earth what all I did. So if you'll recall, I was walking a transect and then I stopped and saw a flock of geese in the field and I wanted to estimate my bearing um, from the transect towards the geese and my distance between my transect and the geese. So looking at this compass, if we orient north at zero degrees, um, indeed we see that that goose, uh, the first goose we saw, it was around 190, 192 degrees from our transect. And that second goose that we saw was closer to 200 degrees off that transect. So that agrees with what our compass saw in, in the field. Now let's look at some distances. So to do that, we're gonna use this measuring tool up at the toolbar. And here's one place we could also double check our angle or our bearing. So we can put our first point approximately where we were standing and end it at our first uh, goose. So 184, pretty close. Then let's look at that second goose that we saw. So yeah, definitely closer to 200 degrees than our first goose. So that's looking pretty, pretty good. Now let's look at the distance. So let's change this. I believe I had said 70, we were approximately 75 yards from our goose. So let's look at that and see if that agrees. 73. So yeah, so um, Google Earth is a nice way that we can double check the work that we do in the field. And indeed, it looks like uh, everything matched up. So this is one way I will be checking your work that you do throughout the week. And these skills are going to lead towards next week's activity of triangulating to find the location of our animals. And then also it'll lead to the week after that of estimating population sizes. And um, it, so we'll be estimating population sizes a variety of ways, but one will be using distance, distance and uh, angles off of our transect. So Go get some practice, play with your compasses, play with Google Maps and Google Earth, and I will see you in class on Friday.